Hello, it's Championship Sunday here for VCT Game Changers Academy, presented by Gen G. But first, we gotta get through the semifinals. I'm Lisa Malambri, aka Lucy May, and casting our semis today are the fabulous Wolf and Zombie Grub. Guys, we started with 16 teams, and Wolf, we are now down to four. We are, and it's going to be a, a tough uh, matchups today. So we have, first up is gonna be Just Breathe versus GX3. Both of these semifinals are going to be best of three matches. We did see Just Breathe yesterday in their top eight match where they dominated Moon Raccoon's Black. And then in our second semifinal that we're going to have after this match, it's going to be Nothing to Lose versus Gen G Team Bumble, who is working to defend their title because they won the Game Changers Academy back in May. That's right. So there are reigning champions right now, but we do have some beastly newcomers into the Academy this, uh, this time. So it's going to be a spicy semifinals leading up to the grand final. And we cannot wait, you guys, if you're just tuning in for the first time for the weekend, you have definitely come just in time. Zombie was here yesterday. So how are you feeling today, Zombie, about the teams that have now made it to Championship Sunday? And I say Championship Sunday because that will be happening today. But yes, we have our top four having to go through semis, as we saw some of them yesterday making it here. So bit of the action yesterday and what the players and teams looked like we had our favorites yesterday and while they stayed our favorites they definitely you know they won they moved on it really wasn't so one-sided there is actually a couple of hiccups along the way for you know number one seed team just breathe and uh even uh bumble like even they had a little bit of trouble uh in their quarterfinals so I think it's already going to be closer in the semifinals anyways, but I also had to reconfigure my own brain what to expect from our top seeded teams. That's right. Oh, man. I can't wait. I mean, this is going to be a great time as well. And while we're getting everything loaded up, we're just going to give a little rundown on what to expect with the map picks right here. First map is going to be Ascent. And Wolf, what do you, how do you think this is going to fare? This is a Just Breathe pick. So will this really go in favor of them or does GX3 have it in them to really be the powerful one also on this map and just stick it to Just Breathe? So I'm honestly a little bit uh, surprised that they picked Ascent. I was expecting them to pick Icebox because we've seen on stream here two games where they uh, played on Icebox and dominated the teams that they played against. So I was expecting them to go there. Their Ascent game yesterday was a little bit iffy against uh, Moon Raccoon's Black, but they did end up coming back and, you know, taking that map. So I, they've picked it. So they obviously have to be very confident on this map. Yeah, um, and that's what's great about Valorant as well, right? The for evolving and really, as I say that, I'm reminded that's kind of Valorant's motto, evolve or die, right? So it's great to kind of be seeing that. And Zombie, you kind of made some points this weekend as well yesterday about how you know one thing the stats might say one thing but then in the end it actually is a whole different outcome yeah there was a couple of examples of the stats saying that like one was preferential to attack and then they do better on defense or, or vice versa uh this particular matchup this map the stats actually do make some sense finally as <laughs> ascent apparently is <laughs> one of just breathe's best map but of course i think wolf made a great point i mean they always look fantastic on icebox so would have expected that to come out as well but Perhaps they also went through what they were most comfortable with, and it seemed like it might be Ascent because they also choose it a hell of a lot in other tournaments. Yeah, and then after our second map will be a GX3 pick split. So that will be great. And I know that I think Delta had mentioned, or maybe it was you, Zombie, about how it was fantastic to be able to see a little bit more than Bind this time. And um, so that's going to be fantastic. And then we're going to get Breeze if we do make it to a map three tiebreaker. So as we are sitting here, we've just, Hold tight, we've got the game coming up to you guys very shortly as we get everyone sorted and situated for our first map on Ascent. So let's talk about it a little bit. Wolf, I wanna break down a little bit more. You were mentioning about how you were surprised that Just Breathe would pick Ascent. We did get to see them a little bit uh, as uh, this weekend already on Ascent with the broadcast. Can you break it down a little bit more? We do see Natty on KO this time. Yeah, and that's an interesting pick. Like we haven't seen KO in many tournaments yet. He's a fairly new agent. It's a good pick as long as the team knows how to play around in which they obviously do. We saw that yesterday that they played very well with KO. And Natty is one of their top fraggers. So having her on that initiator is really good for them. It's going to be interesting to see how GX3 handles that coming into this. Um, I'm not, 
I don't remember quite if we've seen them playing KO themselves. That doesn't necessarily mean they don't know how to play against him, even if they don't choose him as an agent for themselves, though. Yeah, that could actually even almost mean they do know. And so they know how to shut it down, which is why they're not picking KO. But let's <laughs> find out, right? Ascent, let's kick this off. Semi-final matchup number one going down right now over to Wolf and Zombie. Guys, let's get this started. Awesome, then. First map being Ascent, a bit different from yesterday, but we have seen um, at least just breathe here. We didn't get to catch GX3's matches as they are uh, off screen, off stream, off screen, there we go. But uh, <laughs> they've also come in as a very powerful team. So even though it's the number one seed, it's the number four, uh, they both did pretty darn well in their groups. So I'm expecting, as I said, I think the semifinals are actually gonna be uh, a lot closer than yesterday. And yesterday actually, it was already a little bit closer than anticipated. Yeah, definitely. We didn't see, so I did look up they played uh, Man I Love Frogs yesterday in the top eight match, and they played on Split and Haven. So we haven't don't have that much information about their current Ascent map, but we are seeing them come in with some interesting picks. We do have you know those two Sentinels coming in. They're starting on defense. That's not a bad choice. There, you're going to put one Sentinel on each site to kind of lock it down and allow the other three to move and adjust based on the attacker's patterns. On the opposite side. You know, as Lizzie said, we have KO coming in. Natty's going to be on him. Very interesting agent. I'm curious to see how she's going to use him on this map. And they only have the one Sentinel, Choose just Killjoy, agent. who's probably going to be sitting over on B site once they swap sides. Uh, I guess not not wanting to go as quick as possible. Want to let that count down? Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, Astro is apparently their actual choice. They didn't just want to lock it in. There we go. There we go. All right, yes, good breakdown of uh, what we might be seeing from each side's agents. I mean, I do think that KO has really proven uh, himself, itself, I don't, I don't know, um, as, as a strong agent. I mean, that's typically what happens when, when any game, honestly, gets something new, right? Um, in a particular agent, character, whatever you want to call it, you know, they usually they're like a little bit good. You got to tempt people into using it after all to get all the data to tell you, you know, what to pull back on. Um, and while I'm not actually advocating that he's OP, I was making that joke yesterday. I absolutely see how he has become so useful in like every team's roster. Yeah, and he's not, I don't, I really don't think that he's OP, but he is definitely a different kind of agent that you have to play around because it, he does force your skill to come, skill with the gun to come more into play when he suppresses the opposing agents. But if you can play around him, if you know you have time to, to spare, you can actually just wait out the suppression as long as he's not in his alt and just continuously suppressing you. You can wait that out pretty well. Um, and just take those fights after you have all of your abilities back. Revealing but it looks like we have a bit of a default setup coming into this first round from Just Breathe. Just splitting up to see how the defense is going to be reacting to noise or any indication that of them being on one side over the other. A little bit of the, the, the reading what can happen when you face off against each other for the very first round, you know, an entire best of three. So I actually have to do with a little bit of, of studying each other. I'm sure they've studied each other's VODs as much as possible and then actually feeling them out. So that is quite the launch. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I love it, but it's, uh, did it actually hit anything? It like managed to hit perfectly in the center. Something was actually gained, not that they were close to use it anyways. No, that was, I feel like that was just kind of an opening shot just to see if anybody was waiting for them on A, but it does look like uh, GX3 is not playing directly on site. Anim Animal is sitting up in heaven, backing off, waiting for any indication from her utility that the team is over here. Uh, I mean, she has found out, so she just kind of has to get out of there. It's great when they're not paying attention, you might get a couple lineups, but they absolutely I'll were. And just spike breathe. Down a. Having decided on A, you're gonna have to pick up the spike again, but they can definitely get the plant, and there we go with Natty. And get with the KO. Seconds to go there. A little bit more time to work around, but wanna get that set up. And now we have GX3 having to set up the retake. Five members to four. We've been talking about how they like do this. And we see them possibly just about to pull the trigger, perhaps once this wall is broken. Actually, it's Natty kind of runs into them a little bit. 
Spike is still protected, but GX3 getting close to it. One for one trade there. Zoe, last woman standing. And she saved one it. The defuse is happening. She gets one. She's not quite going to get the other, but the defuse still isn't happening. And there it is. Zoe with the clutch. Um, genius doesn't stop in the lab. I mean, it was a difficult position, right, when you have to both tackle an agent and defuse. But uh, that was also well played by Zoe. That was very well played by her. She didn't panic knowing that there's two on site. We did see that, <laughs> uh, you know, from GX3, Kara was trying to keep her back in that uh, a long area, making sure that she couldn't peek into, or sorry, not Kara, uh, Allie, making sure that she couldn't peek into Madison while she was getting the defusal, but wasn't quite ready to, to take on the, the pistol. But look at how aggressive Here. Maddie is being coming up this way. Milky Way has some sort of indication that she might be there. I didn't think that was gonna work out. Uh, I thought that was all gonna be just breathe. It was a one for one trade, actually. Perhaps, oh, wow. Just not even, not even realizing the animal was right behind there. We have just breathe taken down two. Now, four to two, gonna finally head over to the A sites uh, before setting up some of the Astro utility. Yeah, the plant hasn't gone down yet. We do have the defenders. They're set up. Standing ahead. They're gonna push this. They've been very aggressive on this round. One enemy remaining. It's been planted. Oh, a nice shot dart. Oh, Ace. Shop Ace is very, very, very weak. Oh, but it's still gonna try and go for it. Dancing around the filler, but it's not gonna work out very well. Just breathe. I mean, still two agents left over. A little bit of that advantage. And we have that 2-0 that we've come to expect after the first round was one, but there's a little bit more action to be said there. Yeah, that's kind of the typical round two. You know, once one team wins the pistol, they typically take that second round. But I don't think Just Breathe was really expecting GX3 to be that aggressive coming out. Right here. Um, it very interesting kind of change up for GX3 to take the aggressive stance there, knowing that they didn't have the same kind of range on their guns. They wanted to get in close, try to get some of those picks. And it worked out really well for them because they did get uh, three picks out of that, forcing the other team to buy some guns this round rather than just bonusing in. I barely hear you over the sound of suppressing fire. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I think it's, it, it, it feels and it looks kind of like just like cheesy tactic, right? But it's totally legitimate. Uh, didn't get anything though. We actually have Jan grabbing two for GX3. It makes it a bit easier for her team. Actually grabbing three. Very well done. Be looking for a fourth as Rush is back. And uh, we're waiting this out as well she should. Letting them pass by. Maybe can actually catch them on the flank. Remaining. Yeah. Nicely done. Milky Way goes down, and that's only Rush now. So, is she gonna try and do something? Jan is waiting. Jan wants the fourth. Not gonna get it. Denied her fourth kill, but overall, still GX3's round to win. That was definitely their round to win. Once they got that spike down, it was pretty much over for just Breathe. Just the way the place that that spike went down over there, it's very hard to, would make it very hard to grab it for just Breathe. Just there's so many ways that they could set up crossfires. We did see that Allie was just waiting down in wine for somebody to try to come through the A site and do a flank. It was very well set up once they knew where this, where, once GX3 knew where the spike was. Looks like they're <laughs> just Rave is not going to make that mistake again this time, though. However, they are leaving the spike in a safer place as they move forward to do a little bit of poking and see where the defense is set up this time. Exactly. You don't leave that spike out in no man's land, which would uh, it makes it very difficult to recover. If you do get bopped with a little cheeky peek, then well, at least the spike can still be picked up by a teammate. As we have a little bit of the seismic up going down, we'll see the Aldrone trying to figure out exactly what's waiting. I mean, there's two on top of the wall, so it would have been dangerous to go there without some notice. They are still gonna push the issue. Actually wanting to take this fight, now really leaving that spike behind. I think we've got the confirm they're gonna try and go for it as he 
T Rush go back to pick it up. Yeah, but they aren't quite going onto the side as hard as I would have expected them to. They're making a whole lot of noise, but it does look like they might actually try to rotate over into the yeah. mid area here. Potentially considering going over to B instead of hitting the A site. Thirty Possible. seconds left. They have thirty seconds though, so time is starting to run out. You need to actually get in there and plant the spike. Now down to 20 seconds. Finally, some strong movement over into B is the decision, but we actually have GX3 reading yeah. this quite well as well. They've already started to rotate. And getting that defense set up. Killjoy buying some more time. Just to let them in, but Madison is going to find Milky Way and one more before going down very quick. As quick as that. They got GX3, four agents left just to Natty's KO. And well, the time actually expired. Oh no, I brought it up and then I forgot about it. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so Natty just decided to save the gun into this next round. Not a bad choice. The rest of her team is going to be a little bit awkward on their buys here since they've lost now two rounds in a row. They're going to have to save. Placing She's got that hero rifle and hopefully she can do something good with it. We do see she's over with the spike heading sort of towards the a side probably will drop that spike at some point before actually making any any moves forward so far yeah, i mean they're they're on a timer and when they did try to rush it you know, they got they got little bots and save that gun move on as the score is tied up as uh, equal as i expected between these two teams which is very exciting because this is also a, a bit of a rematch from a, a soccer cup I think just like a month ago, so still pretty darn recent. Now we have pretty strong movement into mid. So I'm gonna try maybe this avenue of attack a little bit Here. faster. I'm scouting out, no one's waiting for him. There we go. I have to break down the wall, sure. But it is going to be that B push. Oh, perfect accuracy. Animal just in the corner. Catching one early on, waiting for more to filter through. One enemy remaining. Wait, it's happening. It's it's not quite deja vu, but we have once again just breathe trying to make the push there and not really able to do so, losing every single person that time. Yeah, that was a really good setup from GX3. They. They had all of that killjoy utility set up in really good places. They knew where the other team was. And once you hit mid, kind of in that market area, it's pretty obvious that you're going to be hitting the B site. So closing the B door, making them come through that, having the rest of the killjoy utility set up on the B main entrance to let you know if anybody's coming there or if it's going to be a full team through market. That was just a really good setup from GX3 and worked out really well for them. But it's time to reset. We do see that this breed is able to actually buy up their rifles. Again, killjoy utility, great. Letting the Zoe know that people were trying to come through the B main area as the rest of her team is making noise in various places. Yeah, just making noise, yeah. Lots of vaults on both sides. They have just breathe. I mean, maybe appropriately deterred from the uh, the B site, not trying to head into A. Uh, GX3 standing strong in the defensive position, still waiting for real notice that there, there's going to be a push. They're soon about to get it. Utility being thrown out, trying to figure out where everything is. Animal, not quite able to get that kill, so Zoe takes out Jan. There's the plant. Just be finally getting one down. And with four agents left over. Four to four. Uh, but they also starting to come through here. Both a lockdown and a cosmic divide. Come chaos. Four GX3 on the retake. And I have to just back off and wait. Yeah, and that's not bad. Oh, and we have the third one coming out here. KO pops their knife. Or er, their ultimate. A lot of ults, yes. Gonna come in here with guns, though, but it doesn't really go so well for GX3. It's hard to take down two of their members. And now it is just breathe. I mean, their spike was closing down, right? So that is going to, to pop, but they also just were able to take the picks there better. Ending that with three, yeah, and yeah, just yeah. Lace left alive. Maybe some cheeky kills. Oh. oh no! Oh no, that didn't work out. Okay, she got killed instead. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> that worked the opposite of what she wanted from there, but 
you know, it happens. Looks like she can still buy up another Odin, so not too much of a loss for her. But yeah, that was a great ultimate util or ultimate usage from Just Breathe. You know, the the lockdown plus the Astral really slowed down the retake from the defensive team, and then just to pop the KO ult at the end there. There was really nothing that GX3 was going to be able to do against that. It's a brutal set, brutal combination. But now, I mean, all of those ults are gone, and now it is GX3 that have three. Actually have That's true, and we already popped. And we are seeing Rush does have her ult up still, the Hunter's Fury. Uh, they're probably going to be saving that either to defend a spike plant or waiting for Animal from the defensive team to put down her lockdown and using the Hunter's Fury to destroy that. Hmm. That makes sense. Well, posturing, I mean, clearly Milky Way is ready for a fight with the knives out. You'd have Maddie Sun do the same exact thing, actually, <laughs> if she wanted, but she's just waiting. <laughs> At the Vandal, taking out the Owl Drone. And we have Lace missing the chance of the Odin. Uh, yeah, not gonna find anything there. Maddie Sun does take out Milky Way, so Knives very ineffective. So far, not so good for just Breathe Attack. And now they are going to move over into A, situate there, left. get the plants. That, that will happen, but then let's see if they can defend it. Not. I was gonna say it's very interesting that there's oh, Zoe on the flank through market though. Yeah, Zoe flank. Spike name planted. a better combination. <laughs> She's pretty good at this. Um, Spike finally did go down. I don't know as fast as I thought, but they had to do a couple of fights first and foremost. Now the timer is on GX3. If they're back up to four. Using that uh, sage run, ultimate, run. there is the defensive Killjoy ult and rush. Uses the Hunter's Fury and destroys the lockdown exactly as you predicted. Wolf, there we go. Oh, they're not Over. checking hell though. Yeah. Oh, uh, well. Long grenade out. Hell did its job, I guess. Took down some of the members, but that spike is going to detonate. And there's not much left for GX3 to do except to run away and hold on to their guns. Uh, I'm a, a little bit surprised that uh, Zoe there recalled her turret. That might have actually gotten the kill on Jan at the very end if she had left it up. Uh, Jan was only at 10 health at that point and had nowhere to go to get away from it. <laughs> but she did not know that. Anyways, <laughs> we're going into, what is this, the eighth round here. Finally seeing an op on the board. Maddie is buying that big sniper rifle. Looks like she's going to be sitting out in mid not a bad choice. We have seen Just Breathe do a lot of pushing through mid, just checking it out, clearing out the zone. I wonder if Rush is not. Rush is not going to peek that for her and allow her to get that first pick. She would love, though. It'd be so nice, wouldn't it? Just, just peek that head out. It would be a good favor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's kind of um, it's an oldie but goodie on this map, so it's also kind of predictable. You know to be careful around that when the other team has enough cash anyways to get the operator. It is going to be that push into A. Um, it's actually a terrible setup. Rush is going to get that information with the Owl Drone. He's still going to break the ice wall, though, of course. He's great at buying that time. But it caused the divide as well. I mean, they definitely want to push into here, but there's there are so many blinds. Like, they actually have to get through. They're finally jet. Dash is on through. Milky Way is going to give the green light for the plants. We have Lace going for a couple of freebie kills. That'd be so nice. Not going to be grabbing anyone, though. Maybe delayed the plants a little bit, but there Spike it is. Planted. Oh, Animal coming on. Rush is just waiting for her, though. <laughs> oh, stay down. Yep. Now we have a lot of fighting going around the spike. GX3 has pushed back in. They're doing uh, so far a great job taking down a lot of members of Just Breathe, but they're you know, stop the defuse. There we go. Zoe though, fighting perfectly to stop the spike defuser. Grabs one more before she goes down. That looks so cool. At the end of the day, GX3 is going to get the defuse. <laughs> she was lined up so well for those kills. Got two of them, just wasn't able to get that third one. And 
GX3 was able to recover the operator, still have that on the board to contend with. That's really going to cut off any of Just Breathe's potential to get into mid there. They're going to have to use some of their smokes in order to block off those sight lines if they want to do anything in the, the middle of this map, which we've seen them do most rounds, so this is definitely a detriment to them. Looks like the spike's actually going over towards the B side this time, which is a bit of a change up. They normally do the split, but the spike is almost always over near the A site. Definitely change up. And if they have pushed into B, it has been through that middle, as you're talking about, but that's just like you, you can't really do that against you know, the operators there. So if they can confirm that the operator is moved, uh, which Milky Way might actually be getting information here. I don't, yeah, information is all she's gonna get. <laughs> Hey guys, the operator is over on A. I mean, that could allow for something in the middle, but they're already going out. through you should run. A into B. So attack. That was a going. really nice fake out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get any detains, but again, just buying that time, making GX3 wait before they try to retake. Yeah, we do have two coming in on the flank here. I don't think there's anything to indicate to the attackers, though, that this is coming through. Just hide, guys. Just hide. Forever. <laughs> Forever. Remaining. Not, uh, not going too poorly. Okay. I mean, of GX3, I mean, they had the numbers. They had Thank you. just everyone together able to bully in there. It's inevitable they're going to get that defuse as much as Chess Breathe is going to try. And they have taken the lead yet again in the series. But I mean, it's it's back and forth, isn't it? It really is. Both of these teams are very well matched. Nobody wants to give up this map. We have Just Breathe coming in with a timeout here. Not a bad choice. It, they have one per half. So using it here, trying to just get a little bit of a reset for themselves as they plan what they're going to do to counteract what GX3 is putting out on the defense. I really liked that play from Just Breathe last round, though, where they did all of the same stuff that they've been doing. They threw in the KO knife. They uh, started making noise over on A. We had <laughs> we had Milky Way actually get onto site, close the door. It pulled all of the defense off of B and over to the A site, except for Animal, who was just waiting there in the market area, just a little bit of an, I don't know, instinct or something, saying, hey, I this might be wrong. <laughs> I think they're coming B. Is it an Animal instinct? <laughs> <laughs> he was just right there. Uh, that's the pun that I would expect from Lucy, not from you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just the puns of like hosts, okay? And I've been hosting a lot in another game, so I'm just in oh, a okay. pun mindset. I see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, actually, wow, very committed, very quickly over to B. If they actually end up pushing this fast, it would be a very different tempo change that might completely shock uh, GX3. And they don't get pushed, I guess, that 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 quickly. They do make a lot of noise and they're all still together, but it is going to be uh, rotation over what looks to be into A. Yeah, and this is, it's a fast, but also loud rotation. So they made all of that noise at B, but we didn't actually see any of the, any of the defense yeah. rotate over. They know that they're not pushing over there. So they're not going to leave this A site vulnerable until they see if anybody's going to come this way. Mm -hmm. Some uh, nice... I guess, you know, the Killjoy utility really helps that, you know, if you're a little uncertain, just wait for the alarm bot to be triggered, the auto turret to do something, and if it's still not, you're kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit on to you. So saying exactly where they are, showing a lot of patience and, and due diligence. GX3 also still has the operator on Madison, um, just waiting, just waiting for Rush to even try. It might be the owl drone that gets bopped, but... There you go, now you know the operator's there. It's gonna be making more noise area. anyways. So first they made a lot of noise in B, then they did left. move into A. Now it's gonna be through middle. Now that the operator's not there. But Dan is. <laughs> she is. Yes, she is. Spike down, mid. Not gonna grab so much. Still gonna be able to tell him all right back into A for this area. Maddie just repositions with the operator. Left. She's been eager to get one kills with it. Remaining. 
hasn't been able to pop off quite yet to actually lace with the Odin classic. Gonna be able to get those last few kills and GX3 put another point on the board, the, the biggest lead since the first two rounds, I guess, which always seems so default in Valorant. Maybe a sign of momentum growing for GX3. Yeah, and they definitely want to build up as much momentum here as they can, because once they swap to attack in two rounds, it's going to be a whole different game. They're going to have to kind of change it up. We have seen them be rather passive here on the defensive. You know, they're not rotating too quickly. They're just waiting and seeing what Just Breathe is going to do. They're going to have to kind of wake up from that mindset, go on the offensive, get a little bit more aggressive once they swap to attack. Raiders still not finding too much in the mid there. It's going to be B. Once again, sights there, anyways. I just I feel like Madison just really wants one of these kills. I mean, she's already top in the charts for GX3, so she doesn't necessarily need them. But it's like the operator. But it's always nice to get more. To <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Odin versus Odin. <laughs> Silly. Yeah, it seems like just really has, has stalled out a little bit here. Oh, just waiting, trying to get Lace there with that Odin. But uh, we might see an execution come through now. You want moving to a lot slower than we're used to seeing just breathe move here. After wall comes down, Lace uh, jumps back in the boathouse. He's gonna wait it out there. I mean, they're actually still in trouble in. To be site, there we go. Animal is waiting. Spike down. Two beat. headshots looking for a third. going to get another kill. GX3 up 4 to 2. So far, stop uh, enemy Plant remaining. going down. Uh, the operator has been lost. Rush starting to get some work done, but the two, the crossfire was a little too good there. So it is going to be GX3 with it. Another point up 7 to 3, Last and they pick up that the operator. <laughs> you gotta keep the op when you can. I was going to say, it looks like Madison was maybe not going to go with it, but she decided that she's going to get the operator. Oh, you know what? I bet, I bet she brought a rifle as well, so it's a backup if she needs to swap over to a better, uh, like a more close range gun. Mm -hmm. Spike's yeah. sitting in the spawn area right now. We just have Killjoy from the attackers going over to B. The rest are heading for this A site per usual. Danger there with the operator getting uh, suppressed. Usually you try and shoot and dodge, but she ends up living regardless. The um, couple of utilities used over there, not making any room for much. I mean, just really pushing the operator off, I guess, more so. Just, it's still important. Let them just sit somewhere beautiful and headshot everyone as they come through. <laughs> Oh man, Animal just sitting there waiting, Zoe making noises over here. <laughs> but it's not drawing off the defenders. Again, we're seeing them play really passively. They know that there's no strong attack coming in any place on this map, so they're just going to wait and see what actually is going to happen here. We got the KO ultimate coming in, but it's all about this particular gun anyways. Oh, she is going to get killed before the blind came down. Madison backing off in a sweet uh, lineup again. Zoe manages to pick off, I guess, in the Killjoy mirror matchup that happened there, but now she's gonna rejoin her team. And Madison now onto knives, looking for some close quarter combat. Gonna find Natty. And that pushes Just right Reef down to the last two. I mean, the defuse seems inevitable. Rush is gonna try and buy some time here. As much time as possible for Zoe to get in position. She grabs one, but then goes down. It looks like the defuse is inevitable. Rush is gonna try and take off someone. Ah, uh, it's probably not gonna get anything. In fact, has to be super careful about the knives that are still available. Switching sides. Yeah, Maddie must have used both of her updrafts already because she was not able to get over that wall to get that final kill. You saw her. She wanted it, though. <laughs> <laughs> she did, yes. <laughs> Who wouldn't? But, when the knives are out, the jets get a little hot-headed. That's true. Very true. But we've swapped sides now. So we're coming into this 8-4. to four. Really, out. really good for GX3 in terms of uh, round differential here. You know, they're up by 4. 
they are on the attack, which is a little bit harder on this map than defending, but they've got some wiggle room here in order to get their attacks nitpicked and just right in order to get those last couple of rounds. But it does look like they're actually going to hit the B side. This is not the site that just breathed liked a lot, so I'm curious to see if they're going to defend it well or if they've spent a lot of their time focusing on how to defend A. Well, the Killjoy's over in A with all the utility there. So when we have GX3 being very aggressive all together, pushing into B, Rushback and Boathouse already Perfect. tapped back down to 16, but actually still gets a headshot before going One down. Enemy remaining. But already, already just breathed down to only the Killjoy, only poor Zoe, who now, you know, is going to try and, and flank, if you will, an entire team. So, you know, good luck with that. <laughs> of course, it's not flanking, it's and just pushing in. She's much better if she can and go she ahead and she only has a shorty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. She duck, basically duck. has to wait for someone to walk past her so she can get the shot, which they're, you know, they know where she is. They're trying to dislodge her. <laughs> She's still trying to get the shots, man. Respect with the shorty. <laughs> oh, she tried so hard. Oh my gosh. I mean, she couldn't exactly leave, right? Like, that's a very, like, straight line to evacuate. But I just still the the I respect for trying with that shorty. It almost it almost kind of killed someone maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so first round and a half, she really couldn't run away. There was no point in saving that shorty. So just doing chip damage, trying to see if she could get any kills there. Not a bad choice. <laughs> but we are seeing that GX3 is able to buy up to those SMGs. I'm curious to see if Just Breathe is going to do the same aggressive push that we did saw from GX3 in the previous half. But it looks like they're all stacked here on B. I mean, they like the push. It worked out last time. They are going to once again be able to get in. They got two in Boathouse waiting for them, actually. Maddy was also there. He picked off pretty quickly. Madison just he dives back in. One and up the backside. And with the help of the teammates, cleans up the rest of Just Breathe. GX3. Yeah, I kind of was like, I wonder if round six means they have momentum. Well, here we are at round, we're not round 10, win 10, and they definitely have the momentum. They do, and here they go again, right on over to B site. I did like what we saw from Just Breathe there. They had all five of them, the defenders stacked on B. Just didn't really work out against the aggression coming from GX3. But Just Breathe's able to buy their rifles this time. We're gonna see Just Breathe, or GX3, those names are way too close. GX3 going into this bonus uh, with the SMGs. Going for a mid push here. Which okay. could prove detrimental to them because there are three defenders over on the A site waiting for them. Yeah, I was going to say, if they had just gone for B again, it probably would have worked out well. But now trying to change things up, hoping to catch uh, Just Breathe over defending the house, right? On B. Um, and the second to find them, pretty well positioned. And Zoe starts to get off nice with one, Milky Way another. This is Just Breathe's uh, best round so far. It's indeed plant. Seems like it might happen. Remaining. Nope, Natty's behind. Spike down A. Stops even the spike from being planted. That is a full clean up there for Just Breathe. All right. Blink of an eye. They've got another point on the board. Things are not over yet. No, definitely not. A, I, I won't say a typical round three because that doesn't always happen, but it's not unexpected that they would have won that round. You know, rifles versus SMGs. The rifles are most likely going to win, but that's not always the case. We are seeing GX3's Changing up their attack pattern a little bit. Kind of wish that they had still continued doing that aggressive B push. It was working for them. But we're seeing four go over towards the A side. Just the Killjoy sitting by B to make some noise. Maybe get in a flank as the defense is rotating over. And Natty's just... Natty from Just Breathe. Just sitting in wine. I don't know if GX3 knows she's down there. I'm sure she does, but it, she wasn't the problem. She was part of the problem. Two of them together, Milky Way and Natty, that cleaned up that section. And GX3, I mean, once they stop going into B, it feels like it's cursed them. It's angry at them. They are down to two. And, I mean, are they in any type of position to actually make this work? Not really. They've put themselves in such a 
place that they can't really get out of it without seeing one of the enemies, and they don't have the spike. Yeah, I mean, it's possible, you know, we could have them go back, pick it up, and try a different angle, but actually just breathe having some great defensive setup here. They managed to stop that push without their you know, entire team. So even as we see, seconds left. I have the EX3 spike. to try and <laughs> to get over there and maybe trick someone or now with 20 seconds left, I think they are just giving up, but still maybe they could have. I don't think it would have worked anyways. Yeah, I mean, she would have needed to get an ace and or planted the spike and defended left. it long enough that they couldn't defuse it. Not a bad choice to just save this round, you know, take a moment, reset, come back next round with a gun that she might not have been able to buy. Actually, she wouldn't. She's at zero right now, so she wouldn't be able to buy that rifle if she had died. So we're coming in. Allie's got that hero rifle. We saw this reversed in the first half. <laughs> so this is going to be very interesting. Another timeout coming out for GX3. This is the first one they've used this game. Uh, just needing to do that reset, decide what they're going to do on the save round. How, how are they going to attack? Is it going to be an aggressive push? Are they going to try to get picks and pick up guns from Just Breathe? Or just get this round over with and go on to the next one? <laughs> I guess that is the question they're asking themselves with this timeout. They had gained uh, such momentum, and then, you know, they seemed to be carrying through the, the swap, but only when they were hitting B. <laughs> Said it feels like B cursed them, and it's like, you're not going to come to me? All right, then. Screw you guys, too. Uh, now they might try B again, but we've we've actually had Just Breathe set up a nice defense there. But, you know, GX3, they might even be coming into this series uh, in their minds, even be a bit favored since they did beat Just Breathe a month ago. And now as Just Breathe says, like, yeah, we're not we're not going to just roll over and play dead here. They need to configure how they want to close this match out because they're still darn close to it. GX3 still up 10 to 6. And here they are maybe heading into B once again. Yeah, they are definitely setting up for this B push. We are seeing that they're not buying too much. Again, with the save round, they're all buying those, those sheriffs that we tend to see from these teams. But the Killjoy utility is going to give them all, give Just Breathe a lot of information that, hey, this might be a, an aggressive B push that we've seen from them before. It'd also be foolhardy. I don't know if they still want to push the issue. Yeah, Animal's going to make some noise in the middle. Just waiting for any animal to pop out. It does seem, because, I mean, they're still committing here over in B. And there we go. Madison going to push on in. Find the two in the back. Look for, I mean, at least one. It actually does she realize there's two. I assume so, because there often has been in the past. Rush taking down one. Zoe taking down another. Forced to go into the pistol. Still do something close range, close ish. One opponents are also very low. Nicely done. Milky Way and Zoe cleaning up at the end there. And Zoe just out of that pistol, but still just breathe another point. Very well played on the defense. Yeah, they're definitely closing the gap coming up to GX3's 10 rounds there. I got, I will admit, I got a little bit worried. That was a very aggressive push from GX3. It looked like it was working really well. Just got stalled out with those two players sitting in the back of the site. And Zoe just pulling out the pistol at the end. Doesn't even need the rifle to get that final kill. Apparently not. Apparently not. She was injured. Everyone was injured. Just needed a couple of tap. I mean, yeah. that... You know, that round, there was a lot of killjoy utility there, too, to kind of to kind of hold them up. If they did go now, I think this is, again, that opportunity. It's more reminiscent to the start of this half. Yeah, we've got a bit of a weird defensive setup here. They're probably going to do another aggressive attack on to B. Nobody's actually on B. We do see that Natty has pushed up into the mid area. So she's going to come in on a flank once they start hitting this site. Plants already begun, so there's Natty starting to move over. Uh, but we have two from GX3 who seem to be at least, uh, you know, anticipating you this. They have all five members on the site. They can line up a lot, prepare a lot. We actually have 
the attacker uh, lockdown, so that's going to buy even more time for GX3. Still a couple of duels going around. The monster gets picked off. It's now two to three with the Sova ult coming out. Grabbing Milky Way, nicely done. Madison up in the corner on the boxes. Might not actually be involved in these last few fights. She does pick off Zoe to end it, and the spike is not going to be able to get them. So there you go. Leaving that round with two alive, and now up 11 to Yeah, they definitely needed that round. That's probably the round that they planned for during that timeout. You know, they took the timeout before going into the, the save round. But th that was probably the round that they decided what they were going to do from that timeout. Very good play by then. They look a little bit hesitant about going to B again, and we know this doesn't work for them if they don't go to B. <laughs> but Spike is heading over to A. Got to see how this works. We do have two defenders in the mid. I'm curious to see if we have Maddie move into that area again. She was very aggressive last round in taking up that space. Well, the operator was here, had it's actually moved. So Madison might just be given the green light. I mean, we, the spike is still kind of postured like it's going to go to A, but a lot of the other GX3 members kind of given uh, information now that perhaps, you know, middle might work out. I mean, lots of scouting going down. It feels like if they had only scouted B, you know, with this owl drone, for instance, they would have seen it, it, it's a bit open. And instead, they're posturing, they're waiting, and the spike is still so far back. Yeah, and that KO command is coming out. It's hitting everybody in that mid area. Going to shut them down for a couple seconds here as Natty pushes up. Very ends up helping out there. They're gonna push in, and I mean, they have found it kind of defenseless. Get the plant, hopefully. They still do get one loss, and Rush has got the Hunter's Fury gonna try and kill someone. Who's planting? Doesn't actually get anything though. Spike has been planted. Now we have it down and dirty on the B sites. Four to three, but it's quickly one changing. Two to two, two to one in favor of GX3. And now it's just down to rush. Can't do it. Nope. Get picked off. And we have GX3. One more round, and they will take game number one. Match point. Yeah, so. Things are looking pretty dicey here for Just Breathe. You know, they have to make up that five round differential and then go into overtime and play ball? more. So not looking great for them. Uh, we have, haven't have seen them take up five rounds yet in this game, in a row, I mean. Um, the most they've gotten is three, so not looking good. We do have GX3 coming back to their favorite site, B site over go here, but Killjoy is just waiting over on A, maybe to make some noise, potentially keep those three defenders over there, or get a pick as they rotate towards the B site. Yeah, she might be able to do that. As far as just Breeze kill Joy, Zoe has set up now defensively on B, which, you know, it, it was missing from a couple of last rounds. And that, that actually is uh, going to be possibly the reason that yeah. we have a bit of a rotate all the way back. Nadi is able to get a monster. And that does put Just Breathe on a 5 to 4 position. Still need to figure out exactly where GX3 are rotating to, though, because they have lost track a little bit. It's, it's a long way, way around. It's just Maddie sent over on B, making noise. But actually, the spike is heading towards A. Yeah, and the defenders are in a very good setup here. They already have three over on A. They're not rotating based on this noise that's happening from Maddie on B site. Not looking great, but we do have uh, Milky Way is very low, so she's one bullet left. away from death. Okay, as long as Maddie's there with her to kind of help her the carrier. Oh, but Maddie someone wanted to check Boat House, that didn't work out very well. Um, it's taken down. And now GX3, <laughs> down to two against five, with 12 seconds left. They are going to try and make a rush for it. They take down Natty, but Milky Way, as low as she is, they take on one more leaving. Well, just one, and there it is, down to zero. Just breathe. 
Trying to close the gap a little bit where it matters most. As soon as they let GX3 one round is all it takes for them to win this map. And they got to start over again in the next map. Now, you don't want that. Just breeze know they can win. They can do this. Should I play some stuff? Just need to keep on making plays like this, I guess. Yeah, we do have GX3. They're going to be on a, a little bit of a save here. Not... It, honestly, like... They could force here and try to force the issue and get that last round. Doing a save's not a bad choice, though. They have four rounds that they can play with. Get out of my way. Going back for this A hit, we do see the knives are getting popped from Maddie, and we do have a Cosmic Divide still able to be used in order to take or defend this site once they get the you want to fight it. And there you go. As you say, it comes down. It's going to block out a lot of members of Just Breathe, in fact. It is only Zoe in Boathouse is going to be able to defend on the site. Maddie's been looking for uh, picks with her knives, finds one, and we even have, oh, a lot of player detained. Three players detained. Wow. Okay. That's a lot. More you see, but Maddie's been still working very well with the knives. Just trying to get that last pick. Just breathe down to two. And they have a lot of work. Can't let this one go. GX3's got the plant, though, and it's already starting to be both an issue of agent numbers and time. Our pushes in. There's going to be the turret to alert everyone what the plan is. It's going to be so difficult to do. Milky Way grabs one, but the spike, it's still counting down. They're on a timer, and I don't think they can beat it. Milky Way all alone. I mean, you know, maybe some uh, morale points if she was able to get more picks. She does not. And there you have it. GX3, take map one. Yeah, that was that was a very close game throughout the whole match. Just GX3 able to pull away there in the second half and take that map for themselves. I believe, I'm trying to remember, we're going on to Split next, which is GX3's pick. We did see them. They played Split. Well, we didn't see it. Actually, it wasn't on stream. But they did play Split against Mana Love Frogs yesterday in the top eight match. And they won it 13-2. So they are very strong on this pick. Curious to see how it's going to work out for Just Breathe in the next game. Breathe, I mean, they came in there with a lot of expectations in their, in their seating, the way they performed in the group, and then still what ended up being overall a very solid statement made in the quarterfinals. Maybe a little more problems than I expected, but still. But now they're having real trouble against GX3 of the them in the past. Uh, I do believe we're going to go to a break, and when we come back, it's going to be the second map of this best of three.